Hello everybody, Creepy Mummy Mub here. Today what I have to review for you guys is the Jemmy Animated Life Size Quivering Doorman. Now I got this guy off Facebook Marketplace for um, about 90 bucks. Kind of expensive, but not that bad. Uh, I, I just... I forgot what I was about to say. Um, now this is one of the Ghastly Gentleman face life sizes. And, um... His candelabra gives off a glowing effect. There are the lights on the back of that. And his candelabra candles light up. And, um, his candelabra was actually, like, it cracked, so I just crazy glued it. Um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be out, so I'll take it out. I think it's supposed to be out, but whatever. And, yeah, it is, I think it is the same suit as, um, Quivering Doorman. This is, I think this is just, like, Ghastly Groom. But different phrases, and he has a candelabra. And I think this one's taller as well. Um, he's got this gray hair, normal Jemmy gray hair, standard. His face is latex. And, um, this is a little deformed here, but I don't mind. And this is the face from Slendy Tubbies. And he's got his Zoltan hand. They loved the hell out of this mold for some reason. And then there's just the normal candelabra hand mold. The male candelabra hand. And he's a pole-based life size, not collapsible. And I do not have the box with this one. It doesn't matter much. The sensor is in the chin there. Um. And his adapter goes into the back of his head over here. And the circuit board is in his head. If you were just to take his head off alone, um, it would just sh it just shakes for a few seconds. Because the speaker is in like a special voice box, like right here. Um, and I do believe that this arm is posable. I don't know what I would pose it to do, though. So I'll just leave it like that. He is pretty slim. I, I kind of want to buff him out. Anyway. And yes, the hat is removable. I'll get to that in a second. Um, something worth noting here, once I get his hair out of the way, give me one second. There we go. Um, he can take a spirit try me button. It works on him for some reason. Maybe he was planned to go to spirit, or maybe that's just a standard try me button thing. I, I don't know, but it's pretty interesting, I think. Great detailing on the face here. Um, and he is off and sensor, and off he can be triggered with the charm button. And he takes a 6 volt 1 amp, I believe. Give me just one second, and I'll plug him in. Yeah, it's a 6 volt 1 amp adapter. Pretty low voltage, but he doesn't do that much. So, I'll plug him in. Here's the other side. I have a Diary of a Wimpy Kid book on the floor for, like, no apparent reason. Give me just one second. I know this is agonizing. And I'll plug him in. He does shake a nice amount. Um, I, I forgot what I was going to say again. There's the base. Nothing very interesting. It's got a big ass Jimmy logo plastered back here with a cat toy. I think this was made in 2008. Hey, if he takes a spirit trying button, maybe he was supposed to go with Gothic Beheaded Bride. But I doubt it. And, um, he does give off a nice effect in the dark. I don't believe we've met. At least not on this side of the grave. <laughs> oh, former guests. Please leave 
leave your body at the door and do come in. <laughs> So he's a very cool prop. Um, this is kind of like inflatable material here. And he has the same buttons as every other Jimmy life size with buttons. Welcome. Lovely evening for a fright, isn't it? <laughs> I don't believe we've met. At least not on this side of the grave. <laughs> and something interesting about this last phrase is that, um, it's got the Halloween hang-ups full screaming sound in the background. Take a listen. Ah, old guests, please leave your body at the door and do come in. <laughs> So I never noticed that before, before I got this. Um, and he had nothing wrong with him, he was always working this well. I'll take the hat off, he looks kind of cursed without it. Welcome. And he does shake a lot more Lovely without it. For a fright, isn't it? <laughs> I don't believe we've met. At least not on this side of the grave. <laughs> Yes, he does look very broad. I know. Ah, more guests. Please leave your body at the door and, I'll put and do the come in. Hat back on. <laughs> yeah, the hat does somewhat limit his shaking. Welcome. Lovely evening for a fright. Is it? <laughs> I don't believe we've met. And they did use this audio on a newer At prop this year. On this side of the grave. At Lowe's. <laughs> is a talking tombstone. And I'll show him just one more time. <whistles> These things aren't triggered by whistles. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for watching, and goodbye.